Hi folks, Lance from Runtime. I hope you're having a fantastic week engineering some amazing solutions. So in my last video, I reviewed some old OSs, in particular Windows NT, BIOS, and also OS2 Warp. So somebody made a comment saying, hey, listen, what about the Amiga? What about the Amiga OS? Well, I was actually reserving that for another video. I actually have a simulator that's running Amiga 4.1, and I'm gonna quickly demo that to you guys here. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the OS in this video. So this is what the interface looks like. This is a very nice uh, installation running on Mac OS. I'm actually running mine on Windows. I think it was in 1985 that Amiga OS was released initially and then it sort of went through all these iterations to get to Amiga 4.1. And apparently it's still being used as a daily driver by a lot of people and I wouldn't mind getting my hands on the hardware as well, but it can only work on a PowerPC microcontroller if you want actual hardware. Or you can get the simulator, which is what I've done and to simulate it on my Mac. So here's my Windows machine, which is actually running as a VM. So I'm gonna boot up this particular program called Amiga Forever. Now this particular program allows you to simulate a lot of the Amiga operating systems. So I'm booting up the Amiga 4.1 Classic, you can see here. I just wanna give you guys a bit of a sneak preview of this particular OS. I'll go into more details about it in another video, but this is basically what it looks like. It's pretty cool. I've set it up for a reasonably high resolution screen. So what you can do is you can click right and then you get your menu and you from there you can navigate to all the different programs. You can set your preferences here, you got your screen mode. So let's just show you the screen mode. So at the moment I've got it set to uh, 1024 by 768, a 16 bit color, which gives you 65,000 colors. It really depends on the graphics card that you've selected. If you wanna open a drawer, it gives you a list of the directories which are in the hard drive. So if we go to kickstart, gives you these directories. You can actually go back to the parent. So this is how you navigate back to the previous directories and so on. So these are the drawers. Now we can also look at the volumes as well, which are actually on the hard drive. So let's look at the volume. So these are all the different volumes. So you got the OS drive, which is the hard drive and it's 7% full. And you got RAM drive, which is 100% full. Let's get out of this. And it's a bit fiddly on the mouse here, but this is actually a full simulation of uh, Amiga 4.1 Classic running on the 6804 thousand CPU partition wizard. So that allows you to partition your hard drive. It's pretty cool about so that's Kickstart. This is the Workbench version 53.2. Copyright 1985 to 2011. That's uh, how old the kernel is, OS4 kernel. It's a microkernel architecture. And then down here, you've got programs. Now, what I've done is I actually have a whole swag of other programs that I'll bring in here. I'll mount the option drive here, which is this one. If we go in here and go to the uh, extra installer, you should be able to see some extra programs in here. You can see some of these, some of these are already installed. Some of them are not installed. So I've got these installed already. So if I want to install it, I don't want to put it in the dock. I can just click that left here and install and off it goes. It's going to install that program. But at the same time, you can still continue doing what you're doing. So it's a multitasking preemptive operating system. It's a little bit slow because remember that this is a simulation. I'm not running on real hardware, but it's still snappy. It's snappy enough to be useful. So you can see that's done it now. It's installed that and uh, it's done. Actually, let's go in here, the installation guide. It takes a little while to load up. Let's just click in here and it will bring up It'll bring up the program first, which is the PDF reader. You can zoom in, go through the document. Second edition, March 2011. That's when this document was put together, 2011. It's quite a while back. So that's your PDF reader, quickly. Now, what else can I show you? So let's have a look at some of these programs. Shall we just go to, let's go to the utilities and find. So as you can see, it's really quite nice to Navigate, there's your partition wizard we looked at earlier. You've got your clock and all that stuff in here. PDF reader, system. Okay, so this is some of the system files. Uh, format, format CD, Python. It's even got Python in here, it's interesting. Let's click in here and see what we got in the way of Python. 
There you go, that's Python. Let's see if we can do something with Python. There you go, Amiga Python. So that's Amiga Python. So you can run Python script code on here. You get your finder, so you can look for patterns. So let's say we want to look for browser and we're going to start the search. It's going to go through all of those partitions and it's going to see if it can find the word browser anywhere. It's fairly quick. I'll do another video and go in a little bit more and look at some of the applications, maybe even get it to network. I can show you how it will behave as a modern day desktop if you wanted to use it. Hope that was useful. A little bit of nostalgia again for those who were Amiga fans back in the day. What we do at Runtime, we place engineers around the world. So if you're an engineer looking for opportunities, maybe you want to reach out to me and my team. And if you're a company that's looking for talent, engineering talent, and you want to engage with a specialist that specializes in the technology space, particularly in embedded systems, software development, machine learning, edge computing, etc., maybe you want to look us up and we may be able to help you out. Have yourself a great week. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.